Hey guys, today's video is a quick get ready with me showing you how I wear a red lip. I've been wearing this look in a lot of recent videos and I've had heaps and heaps of requests to show you guys how I do it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my kind of classic take on the red lipstick look. So I first just prepped my skin with the NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm now going in with the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. You guys know how much I love and adore this foundation for getting a really perfected skin look. And if you didn't know already, MAC has just launched into Mecca stores here in Australia, which is so crazy exciting. Oh, beauty, beauty junkie points on MAC. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough to work on the campaign shoot for the launch of MAC into Mecca and it was so much fun. And I actually happened to wear a red lip look in that as well. So it's kind of perfect that we're doing this video today. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, just applying this foundation all over my skin with the Beauty Blender. I love this foundation. It is really full coverage, but really lightweight on the skin. Lasts all day, so you're not gonna get, you know, caking and separation, and it photographs beautifully under flash. I adore it. I'm just going in and filling in my brows now. When I wear a red lipstick, I really like the lip to be the star of the show, so I don't go overboard on the rest of my face. So I do quite a natural brow, I do quite natural eyes, quite natural skin, and everything is all about the lip. Gonna prep my eyes as always using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. I still maintain that this is the best eyeshadow primer on the market. You have to try it. For my eyes, I'm gonna use the Tarte Toasted Palette. I'm not doing anything over the top. Like I said earlier, with a red lip look, I really like to go low key on everything else. So I'm first just taking a light bone matte shadow, pressing down and setting down that eyeshadow primer. Then gonna take kind of like a medium warmish kind of brown, run that through the crease on a big fluffy brush. This is just to add shadow a bit of definition and it kind of acts as a bit of a transition color. And then lastly for the eyes, I'm gonna take a deeper brown and really, really focus and smudge that one through the crease, the outer crease, buffing it upwards and outwards, making it really smoky. Gonna drag that one a little bit of the way across the lid as well, and also smudge it under the lower lash line. Basically, just a really blown out, natural, smoky, light brown kind of look. The other cool thing is you don't actually have to do this with an eyeshadow palette, you could totally do it with a bronzer. Save yourself some extra money without having to buy, you know, heaps of different products, and it just, it looks so good and it will last really well won't irritate your eyes either. If you're more of a cool tone lover, you could definitely do this with sort of more cooler tone eyeshadows. It would still look amazing. It's just really based on personal preference. Now going in with the Bold Bad Lash Mascara by MAC. This one's actually exclusive to Mecca here in Australia. This is a really, really cool mascara. It's got two wands in one. There's a really sort of thick brush that's used on the upper lashes to create lots of volume and length and just like really amp them up. But then you pull out like a little second extra brush from the top of that wand and it's a tiny little baby spoolie that you can use for your lower lashes. For me, this is life changing because I've got really small eyes and I love small mascara ones for really getting into the inner and outer corners. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use some from the Nikki Joy Cosmetics, the natural set. You guys, these are launching so, 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 so crazy soon. And I just, I'm jumping over myself with excitement. If you're not already, make sure you're following the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Instagram page. All of the launch details are going up in there <laughs> so soon, like literally days. <laughs> All right, going back to the skin, I'm gonna be really perfecting my skin and hiding any imperfections and dark under eye circles and things like that using the NARS Complete matte concealer i'm pretty sure what that's what this is called it's an it's an amazing can long lasting concealer that's really high coverage using that underneath the eyes down the center of the face on the chin and kind of in between my eyebrows using it kind of as a double up highlight and concealer as well then i'm going to be going in with a loose translucent powder this is the Too faced is it peach perfect matte peach just peachy they're translucent peach powder it is amazing it's an oil controlling powder that's beautiful on the skin it blurs it keeps your foundation looking perfect all day i'm head over heels in love with this stuff if you're wanting to rock a red lip look, it's always a good idea to spend a little bit more time sort of really perfecting the skin because, you know, areas of darkness, areas of redness and things like that can actually kind of distract away from the red lip and they can make your face look a little bit crowded and a little bit messy. And then the red lip look will be less striking, if that makes sense. So yeah, just spend a little bit of extra time covering up any issues that you have with your skin uh, before going in with your red lipstick. What you do with your cheeks is completely up to you. I like to do a bit of a contour and then add kind of a rosy blush to the cheeks just so that my skin doesn't look drowned out underneath the red lipstick. And then I'm gonna go in and lock all of that makeup in place with a setting spray so that it doesn't melt off during the day. <laughs> and the lipstick that I'm gonna be using for this look is MAC Ruby Woo. My favorite way to wear a red lipstick is to actually apply a liquid lipstick first over all of the lips with a brush and get a really, really crisp, precise line. And then over the top of that, 
that, I like to go in with my cream lipstick. It will make your red lipstick last so much longer during the day. You won't get bleeding, you won't get transferring, you won't get it all over your teeth. It will look amazing. So there you have it guys, my favorite way to wear a red lip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you so, so much and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!